Hello, welcome. This is Natasha. So today's video is going to be featuring the MFT Sky High Friends card kit. In the card kit, there are these two cute, adorable little hot air balloon stamp sets along with its coordinating dies. I did take the stamps and I stamped it on some watercolor paper with some watercolor resistant black ink. I am going to be using my distress markers to color in my images as long as a, as well as an aqua brush. Okay, so the colors I'm using are antique linen, vintage photo, walnut stain, and last one is uh, gathered twigs. Okay, so I'm going to be using my aqua brush to add the watercolors to my images. Okay, and I'm going to start off with the lightest color first and give the whole image a nice light wash. And then I'm going to be going back uh, to the darker colors and just adding shadowing in certain areas on these cute little teddy bears. Okay, and just blending it out with um, a little more water. You just squeeze the tube of the aqua brush and more water is... Um, brought to the brush tip so it makes it a lot easier to do the blending on these critters. Okay I'm just gonna do a real quick color on this little guy and then I am gonna show you how I painted the hot air balloon. I did that with some blue tones in evergreen bow, peacock feathers, and faded jeans. Okay so I'm gonna go in with the lightest color and I'm gonna do a nice wash on the whole entire hot air balloon. I didn't show you how I colored all of the images, but basically this is the basics of how I colored all the images. I used the same technique with the distress markers and the aqua brush, and then just going in with my lightest all the way to my darkest, adding just um, hints of shadows. Okay, and here's everything all cut out, watercolored. I did cut out extra of the stars and the clouds, but I wanted to show you how detailed this die cut is. The matching die cut is with the images here. So I did add some Spectrum War shimmer pen to the moon and a couple little places as well, like. On the clouds I believe I added some of the shimmer as well okay so I inked up a background with some black soot and faded jeans I'm gonna be using my wonky die cut borders die cut that I use all the time cut that ran that through my panel and I did sprinkle or spray on some um, clean and clear water as well as um, a shimmer mist onto my panel Okay, and so I did heat emboss with some gold embossing from Simon Says Stamp, the sentiment on the bottom, which is wishing on a star for you. And I took all of my little images using mainly the bunnies and I uh, uh, put that onto my card front. And I believe that I popped up the bunny on the moon and the bunny in the cloud and the rest of the clouds and the stars are um, just adhered with adhesive. I added some 3D stars onto the panel as well and that is that card. Really simple, cute, adorable. All right, let's move on to the next card. So the next card I'm going to be doing is a box, scallop box card. So I cut my panel out there and I did cut out the little tabs and I'm going to be using a clouds border die to cut out a clouds border on the tabs on the inside of the box. Here I am using double stick it adhesive or double sided adhesive. I'm going to be gluing my box together on only one side. Then I'm going to open up and I'm going to be taking off all the tabs on the inside and gluing that all together as well. And then here is the card ready to decorate or the box ready to decorate. Okay, so I cut out all the little um, squares that you can, that comes in that die set. And I just ink them up with some Stormy Sky and some Shimmer 
I sprayed some shimmer mist on it. I also did that for the box. I mean, that's a something that maybe um, I should have done before I put the box together, but I didn't really know where I was going with the box, so I had to try and do that later. And as you can see, some of the clouds got in the way of my ink blending, but we'll fix that. Okay. So I have this happy birthday sentiment, stamp sentiment, not stamp, sorry, die cut sentiment from Spellbinders. I added that to that front panel and I'm going to be using my, one of my little watercolored and die cut images. And I'm going to be taking a sentiment from that stamp set and just adding it to the front of the box. And it says, our friendship is the best adventure. I have some sequence here. I'm going to be putting some sequence to the front just to give it a little bit extra pop in the front. Okay. So taking my watercolored critters in the balloon, I added a nice coat of the liquid adhesive using my tweezers. I'm going to hold it in place there on the clouds. And let that dry okay so the next day I came back it's all dry set so I'm gonna continue on with adding more of the clouds and the critters onto the inside of this card okay so I'm just gonna take some of the clouds and add it on the box in different areas. I wanted to do that backdrop piece. I was going to do a sentiment, but that big hot air balloon gets in the way. So I just decided to decorate it like a sky as well as the sides. I just put a little extra clouds and stars just to give it complete the, the scene, if you may. Okay. So I did take some of the images and I popped them on some clear acetate or I didn't pop them I glued them onto some clear acetate and then that is going to give it another level of dimension so you see I'm going to be putting little critters and some of the clouds just to cover those inked up clouds or yeah that I had inked up blue I hope I'm making sense but yeah, so I just added some stars on the acetate as well to pop it up and give it some dimension other than um, just the tabs on the inside of the box. Okay, so here is how the card looks. You can write your little sentiment there on your left or your little greeting on the left and then pop it open. And it's just going to sit on someone's desk or, you know, in their room on a table and all of this will be displayed okay so let's move on to the next card okay so this card i found a pattern paper that had this wonky stitching kind of look to it so i cut that panel down i'm gonna take my little critters there you see on the left those will be the ones used on this card i did take this stencil Ledger Drops from Simon Says Stamp. And I'm also going to take this Hero Arts Ombre ink and I'm going to be inking up my background. I'm going to be doing that with my blending brushes and I'm going to just do it in really random spots. Like I didn't want it to be fully inked up through the whole panel. So I'm going to be just adding the colors and the blending here and there and just going in each. Um, color line or yeah color pad okay and then the, the result here I did add that to my card base and I'm going to be placing my little critters on with some foam adhesive to give it some dimension I didn't press down on m my critters yet just because I knew I wanted to add some clouds so I'm going to be doing the placement of that first adding that with some liquid adhesive and then I'm going to be placing down or pressing down on my critters firmly. I also added a little sentiment there. I put that up on foam adhesive as well. And I'm going to be using some Nouveau drops. And just adding a little bit 
of dimension on the ledger drops here. I will put the drops that I used here, I will put the name of them down in the description below. Okay, and that is the finished card. So let's move on to the last card in this video here. Okay, so this card, I had an idea. Um, I was watching a Jennifer McGuire YouTube video and she just recently did one of these, so I really wanted to try. So I took one of my stamped and die cut images, I placed it onto the front of my card base. I'm gonna open the card base up. I like it lays flat, run that through my die cutting machine. Okay, and it cuts out the perfect placement for my stamped image. Okay. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ink up my background here. So you see how it fits right there in that little spot. So it'll it's like one of those inside, outside surprise cards. So the inside and the outside is the same image. So I'm taking some distress inks and blueprint sketch, um, chip sapphire, and I believe that's peacock feathers. And I'm just going to be inking up my entire background. So you see here, at first I started with my panel open. I am going to close it so that I can get the same coloring on that inside piece just because there's a little space right there that is open and I wanted the same blue to show through to the inside. And I did take a little bit of the lightest color and I made a nice little blue hue around the stamped image. Here I'm going to be taking this little stamp and just using my fingers, I'm not going to place it on a block or anything. I'm just going to be adding ink and adding like splatters. So I'm using the Blue Water Hero Arts and the Sea Salt Hero Arts. The Sea Salt didn't come through very well. So I am, I think I splattered with water, but I'm going to be placing these splatters down in random spots. And that came out really cute. I did add some gold splatters. That's what I did. Okay. So here I'm, I wanted to place some clouds. I did do some heat embossing on my sentiment on the top with some Simon Says Stamp gold embossing powder. And then I placed all of my clouds and my stars before I placed my little um, critters in the hot air balloon down. So I'm going to be opening to the inside and just placing my critters right there and it should line up and it's perfect. There it is. Open it, close it. It's the same image on the inside and on the outside. I just love the look of that. Okay, so here are a couple of still shots of the cards that I created in this video. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you inspiration. And um, yeah, follow me over on Instagram, Nwong Yuen Designs. I do post things on there that I don't make videos for. Um, these cards came out so adorable, adorable and so cute. I can't wait to send them out. Um, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Share this on any social platforms that you may have and give this video a like. Leave a comment, let me know which card you liked, which card inspired you. Um, yeah, I will catch you on the next video. Mahalo and ahui ho. Thank you.